In this tutorial, we will cover some basic features of the App Code Debugger, as well as a few more advanced ones. As an example, we will take a simple Swift UI application that loads a list of conferences from a local JSON file. You can look at how it was developed in the Create a Swift UI Application tutorial. At the moment, this application contains some bugs that we are going to find and fix using the App Code Debugger. Download the project from the link in the video description and run it by pressing Ctrl-R or clicking the Run button on the main toolbar. On the first start, the application crashes with an error in the Run Tool window console. This means that somewhere in our code, the fatal error function was called, which stopped the program execution and printed this error message. We can see that the problem happens in the data.swift file on line 27. Let's go there. Press Shift Command O, and in the dialog that opens, type data 27. This way, we can jump directly to line 27. Set a line breakpoint at line 24. Click the gutter area to the left of the code line, or press Command F8. Start the debugging session by pressing Control D. The program execution stops at the line where the breakpoint is set, and now we can examine the current program state in the debug tool window that opens. The Frames tab displays a stack of method calls, and the Variables tab shows a list of variables available in the current context. At this point, we see that the error that we've got most likely relates to the JSON decoder object. Press F8 to execute the next code line. The decoder variable has appeared, and you can see all the properties of the newly created JSON decoder object when expanding this variable. Now we know that our JSON decoder uses the deferred to date decoding strategy that can handle dates in double format only, whereas we have string date values in our JSON. Let's try to change this behavior by using the formatted decoding strategy instead. To do this, set a breakpoint at line 25. Press Shift Command F8 to open the breakpoints dialog. In the breakpoints dialog, select a breakpoint at line 25 and check the evaluate and log option. In this field, you can type the code that you want to execute when the breakpoint is hit. We will add code that sets the formatted decoding strategy. Click Done and rerun the program in debug mode by pressing Command R. Press F8 to step over to the next code line two times. The conference's data variable now stores the values from the parsed JSON file. Resume the program by pressing Command Option R and make sure that the list of conferences is now displayed on your simulator. Since the code injected has fixed the bug, you can add it in the editor and remove the breakpoint at line 25. Rerun the application and select the .swift conference. The application will crash. Go to the file and line specified in the error message. Set a line breakpoint at the first line of the text dates method and then press Ctrl D. Select the dot swift conference. On the variables tab and in the editor, you can see that the end data of the chosen conference is nil. Let's try to set a non-nil value for the end variable to ensure that it is the reason for the bug. Select the end variable on the variables tab and then press F2. In the text field that appears, type date, press enter, and then press F8 to execute line 17. The application doesn't crash anymore because we've set the current day as the value of the end property. Let's fix this bug by adding a corresponding condition in our code and then rerun the application to check that now the .swift conference opens without errors. When selecting the mobilization conference, you may notice that the text dates method doesn't handle the conferences with the same start and end date correctly. Let's add a conditional breakpoint that will stop the program execution only when calling text dates for one day conferences. For convenience, we will display the conference data on the watches tab. Set a new breakpoint at line 21. We want the new breakpoint to stop the program execution only when the end and start dates of the conference are the same. For this purpose, we can create a special condition in the breakpoint settings. Run the application in debug mode, and then select random conferences from the list. The program execution will stop only when the specified condition is satisfied, for example, on selecting the mobilization conference. Now when the program is paused and the debugger tab is available, let's add the result variable to watches, 
which will allow us to observe the variable state in a separate tab. You can add any variable you want to observe to watches. For example, you can also add the name property to see the name of the current conference. To fix the bug, write a condition that handles the equal start and end values. Firstly, change the result value at runtime using the Evaluate and Log field in the Breakpoints dialog. Resume the program execution and choose other conferences from the list. When a conference has the same end and start dates, the execution will stop. On the Watches tab, you will see the correct value of the result variable. Since the code added at runtime has fixed the issue, you can add it with the editor and rerun the application. Select the Swift Leads conference and click the Go to Official Website link. The linked web page cannot open as the address contains an error. Let's handle such cases with a symbolic breakpoint. We will add a breakpoint that will stop the program execution anytime a URL is opened in the application. Go to the Breakpoints dialog, click the Add button, and then select a Symbolic Breakpoint. In the Symbol Name field, type the selector you'd like to observe, in our case, the Open URL selector. Press Ctrl D to start debugging, and then click the conference link. The program execution will stop at the method specified for the symbolic breakpoint, and you will see the disassembled code of this method in the dedicated view. Go to the LLDB tab of the debug tool window, and then evaluate the arg3 parameter with the print object command. This will return the first parameter of the method the debugger stopped at. Go to conferencesdata.json file and correct the misprint. Rerun the application and test if the conference link can now be opened in Safari. And that's it. You can learn more about debugging from our help. See the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching.